peace be upon you today we are going to have a look at Ubuntu 12.04 running with the unity shell Ubuntu 12.04 is a LTS release and as you, you may know it's based on Ubuntu and it is designed for education purposes and it is designed for for the whole uh, group of students like from the primary level to preschool and secondary level and to a, a bit of higher studies also and uh, every bit of applications are provided in it first let me mention something to you that many people have uh, been excited on the google plus <coughs> the Ubuntu 12.04 provides you the option of installing the gnome uh, like the gnome uh, fallback gnome classic is already installed uh, provided in the Ubuntu release but if you want to make it your default session on the on the installer if you click on tick, tick on that part of it it will uh, it will make the gnome fallback your default session for example if you are if you don't have a hardware capable of unity or if you are not comfortable with that in uh, with that uh, unit with the unity shell then gnome fallback will take care of that and I'll if possible I'll make a screencast of showing that also so Ubuntu comes with a variety of software available like as you can see over here you have the unity shell and gnome fallback then you have your KDE application the gcompress is your whole suite of uh, application for kids then Celestia we all know and I'll show some of it in a bit also now apoptes is uh, as it says apoptes a greek word of for overseer is an open source computer lab management monitoring tool now this can be used to have a watch on the students like whether they are performing their tasks uh, in the correct manner or they are not doing any mischievous thing then this can be used to have a check on that then also as i said there is an option to have the ltsp uh, installed uh, on the when you are like installing at Ubuntu you can choose this also and what this does is the Linux terminal server projects adds thin client support to Linux servers LTSP is a flexible cost effective solution that is empowering schools businesses and organizations all over the world to easily install and de deploy desktop workstations <coughs> so <coughs> Ubuntu is a great release as it is based on 12.04 which is in itself a great release so let's have a look at what all is provided <coughs> you must all be <coughs> please forgive me I have some <coughs> problem with my throat and you must be familiar with the unity interface by now if not then please check my introduction to Ubuntu 12.04 screencast uh, that I did earlier let's have a look at application first off filter the results now in accessibility you have like uh, the usual onboard and okra screen reader in accessories you have, uh, you have archive manager backup user data dip calculator open dictionary dictionary pdf mod for modifying the pdf files and then the, uh, the usual stuff in Customization is also your uh, pretty useful. I've installed my Unity, and that is why you are not seeing the, the <coughs> apps available for download below over here. Now here is what it comes in education. Blinken is for your preschool kids related. Celestia we all know is a beautiful application through which you can have a look at the celestial objects and. The all the uh, applications over here are nice. Marvel is also, you know, a very good atlas caters for improving improving your accuracy and stuff. Now, tux typing is important because I'm also using it for some bit. Uh, for the reason being, and uh, now see this uh, allows you to learn how to use the keyboard in an efficient manner. Like for example, I have the habit to look at the keyboard and then type. So this will allow, allow me to use the correct fingers for the correct key. And the, I, am appre I appreciate this software. Also, <coughs> there are good uh, games over here. 
let's have a look at let's have a look at astronomy so galactic and similarly you can play it. there are variety of applications like this over here Well, no problem. Yeah, okay. So education, you have all that. In games, you have Atomics, which I'm uh, liking quite a lot. Yeah. And here we are. cleared it but as you may know it's not that easy a game like if then G brainy you all know minds everybody know really is also good I like really like it <laughs> reminds you of uh, snakes in some bit Final one. Oh man. As I said, it is not as easy as it looks. And now we are again. So that's it. Many times the games that are easy are not actually that easy. And Sudoku, we all are familiar with. In graphics, you get a good application. You have your GIMP. Then you have your inks, PX, vector graphics editor. Then LibreOffice is your default office suit, that as you may know. Scribus is also there, pencil is also there. DIA is good for making quick diagram. Pencil is also a uh, high end sketch tools. I have not checked Zero's Factor Zuma by now. The internet, you Firefox is the default. Uh, <coughs> Firefox is the default web browser. Guiba is for your broad message. In so in social messaging client live free digital uh, RSS feed reader I have installed mumble transmission is provided by default Thunderbird is also provided by default I have installed chromium in media you have Brazil movie player record my desktop rhythm box sound recorder other issues I have installed in office you have your office suite and Calibri that is your ebook manager and reader now Stellarium is as we all know another exceptional uh, tool for viewing the space and a similar celestial objects. I have not checked LibreCAD. Calcium is also a good uh, way to know the uh, chemical elements and similar stuff. And the rest is your system. All in all at Ubuntu is pretty stable come with the good wallpapers. It's good also one more thing like when for example if a student is in like secondary level and he does not want the 
free school applications so while he is installing mm, the Ubuntu release uh, there is an option that comes in asking what all applications do you want to install the pre I install the whole package just to get the, the taste of it but for example you are in primary level then you if you want only primary level applications just tick on that and remove the ticks on everybody else and you will have the primary level applications so that is it for Ubuntu. I may make a screencast of GNOME Classic in a short file. Thanks for watching.